How do you help prevent a patient from going into flash pulmonary edema? Good question. Flash pulmonary edema is a, is a common term used to describe what is actually acute decompensated heart failure. Or a really cool term is cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So it's literally just acute CHF. It's really that simple. And if you think of flash pulmonary edema like you would think of heart failure, then the treatment is almost the same except it's a lot more urgent, emergent, deadly, life-altering. People will die from it. Not to say that chronic CHF, you won't die from it, but it's obviously over a longer period of time. So two things that I think about that I talk about with bedside nurses all the time are fluid and pressure. Those are the two things that you want to think about when you're talking about pulmonary edema, flash pulmonary edema. The signs and symptoms are going to manifest as a respiratory problem but your problem is actually your heart. Ergo, CHF, congestive heart failure. The fluid we're talking about is interstitial fluid. It's that stuff that is around the lungs, within the lungs, as well as within the interstitium, or the small capillaries of your lungs, as well as your peripheral 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 vascular system. This is why people in CHF have pitting edema. The pressure from the inside and the outside of vessels is all screwed up. So if there's too much pressure on the inside, it's going to leak outside of your capillaries. So fluid is the first thing. You want to make sure that you're maintaining good fluid volume balance, that they should not be fluid overloaded in any way, shape, or form. Simple explanation is you're not going to give someone who's in fluid CHF a bolus of fluid most of the time. You're also not going to put them on a large volume maintenance fluid because the idea is trying to keep fluid from building up. CHF is, n is not just the heart, it manifests into other things. Your kidneys get involved in it, your lungs get involved in it. There's a whole lot of other processes in it, but quick down dirty explanation is make sure that your volume status is controlled. You don't wanna be volume overloaded. So if your CHF patient has three plus, four plus pitting edema that you can see all the way up their legs, into their hips, in their arms, Sometimes you'll see it in their neck, in their face. You can see it on their chest, especially in their cl clavicular area. If they have that kind of fluid on board, bad things can happen. So first thing, fix the volume. Second and more important thing when it comes to flashing or flash pulmonary edema is pressure. And I'm talking specifically about blood pressure. Flash pulmonary edema, you do not want your patient to be hypertensive in any way. Barring that this patient doesn't have other things going on, you want to make sure that their blood pressure is normal or at least their normal. Now, that's where things get a little dicey and you got to know a little bit more specifics and you should probably defer to your providers, but you should know what your patient's normal blood pressure is and you want to keep it there. Or you want to make sure you have a conversation with your provider and your medical team those are your colleagues and find out what are you targeting your blood pressure? What are we keeping it below? Because if you have too much fluid on board and they become acutely hypertensive and they stay hypertensive, they are guaranteed to flash. Oh, and this does not live in a bubble. You want to make sure that, you know, all the other things are being taken care of. It's not just about the heart and the lungs. There's all kinds of other stuff going on. You need to know about the pathophysiology processes of your patient because it is very individualized. Pressure, fluid, prevent the flash.